Good night. So uh, today I've been I want to touch on a few subjects that I actually had planned on talking about uh, not necessarily connected but I've been planning on talking about for a few months now and uh, recently there has been another controversy regards well not exactly controversy but we all know um, that Pope Francis is a leftist and he's more of a communist than um, a religious leader per se and Catholics I have a lot of um, I don't know they have a lot of closets to clean now um, but uh, that's not uh, the main uh, purpose of this video this video is to talk about his views on Israel and uh, uh, more specifically Jerusalem and uh, his anti-Semitic uh, comparisons, you know. So we all know that lately there is a growth in anti-Semitism all over Europe. And uh, although uh, a lot of it um, is connected to politics, I think that the most part of it is ingrained in Christianity. And there is a lot of anti-Semitism in the New Testament. and. Most people are really unaware of it, but they're learning it and uh, it stays. There is a lot of even colloquial expressions and, uh, you know, certain negative uh, expressions in language that denote anti-Semitism that are so ingrained in our brains that people don't even notice they're using them. and. Um, so yes, and uh, this happens a lot, and I don't know if it is anti-Semitism on the part of the Pope or it is use of colloquialism, but it has been accused of using anti-Semitic imagery, Im imagery to criticize uh, those he disagrees with. And um, not only that, and this is my major issue with the Pope and um, he is at the head of the Catholic Church in one of the most powerful states in the world with a great influence over mainly Latin America and Southern Europe, um, Southern Europe except for Greece. Um, so his views are going to be influencing a lot of people. And I am aware that there is a lot of misinformation in Europe my country has published quite a lot of misinformation about Gaza and Palestinians and Israel. And uh, we are bombarded with a lot of propaganda about it. Um, but for the Pope to be misinformed and being spreading these things, it's really bad. It's already bad enough that the church has been spreading anti-Semitism all throughout Europe for centuries. Now, this Pope is embracing lies about Israel and lies about Palestinians. And uh, the most, uh, you know, you could say it is propaganda uh, if he wasn't supporting uh, uh, Palestinians in, in regards to Jerusalem. So, um, as you all know, uh, in the late days, there have been riots uh, that are used as a ruse to get terrorists into Israel. And um, the, ID the, the IDF, of course, knows their targets and has uh, opened fire and killed terrorists. And some are not identified as terrorists, but they are likely terrorists as well. They're just not um, yet identified as such, but most of their targets were already known terrorists. And you have to know that before they are known, terrorists start off uh, anonymously and then they build up their careers as uh, terrorists, criminals. Um, in an, anyway, um, 
IDF is one of the best armies in the world and they're very well trained to spot terrorists and spot certain dangerous behaviors that indicate that those are not civilians and operate and shoot the dangerous individuals. So this is the media. Actually, you have to see how the media portrays IDF. They, they have been on a smearing campaign against the Israeli Defense Forces for years now. You have a propaganda machine selling you lies. And if you research properly, you'll see that the media is siding with terrorists. They're actually con doing illegal things, uh, promoting terrorism. You know, leftists, they don't care about the truth. They care about their ideologies. They care about their ideals. And uh, they sided with Palestinians and um, so they propag they spread propaganda they spread deceit and some renowned uh, um, filmmakers that make documentaries have invested in this the whole Palestinian uh, situation and journalists and uh, it happens that most leftists uh, most leftist um, producers and uh, film companies are creating an image of Palestinians, more are Arabs or Jordans, uh, that it does not correspond to the truth. They are not helpless victims. They are criminals. They, they kill. They And it, it's harsh because um, there is a lot of misinformation being spread. And uh, everyone in Europe is buying into it. And this not only increases anti-Semitism on the left, but also on the right. It is very hard for Europeans to do their own research, because even if they do, there are very little sources that uh, talk what's really going on. And it's messed up. You know that... Uh, you know, they have documentaries playing, uh, you know, because uh, they take things out of context. And you have children, I'm going to say this, under, because you can't really consider Palestinians children after a certain age because they're indoctrinated and trained to hate and kill. If um, it is my opinion that as soon as someone is old enough to carry a, a knife and stab a, another child, he's no longer a child. And that's not because of Israel. It is because of Palestinians, as you call them. Uh, but uh, they're taught uh, lies at school. And this is really serious. You have all this uh, uh, UNRWA. UNRWA, I'm not, I don't know how to pronounce, money going to fund propaganda campaigns and education. Their books teach them lies about Jews. They teach them to hate Jews. Um, a lot of the funds from NGOs goes into funding terrorism and uh, no one does anything about it. And even, um, and, okay, this is obvious, Justin Trudeau and his brother are pro-terrorism. They are communists and they uh, have been spreading pro-Palestinian propaganda. And they don't care that there are Jews being killed with the money they uh, want to send to, to, to Palestinians. And uh, you have schools uh, that have terrorist terror tunnels into Israel. And this is really serious. And you have the entire world going against IDF. That is the only thing that stands between the Arab world and Israel. It's the only thing that's, that's keeping Jewish children alive. And still... Even with IDF 
surrounding Israel, you have rabbis being killed, you have children being stabbed, and all this, and this doesn't come out of Israel. This doesn't come out of the Israeli media. There's a total blackout in European media about these issues. And whenever something happens, it's all in favor of Palestinians. There is nothing, nothing on the news about that father of six that was murdered. There is nothing on the news about children being stabbed. There is nothing on the news about the children that were on their bar mitzvah and uh, were attacked by Palestinians. There is nothing about that. But the, you have terrorists rioting, and the entire media says that IDF is attacking, attacking innocent civilians, when in fact they were taking out terrorists, actually, actual confirmed terrorists. There is such a defamation campaign against IDF that is unbelievable. And this is why I want to talk about it. It's, it's obnoxious and it's vile and it's disgusting. And um, I think all Jews and non-Jews alike should boycott certain media outlets that do this. And uh, those that are uh, pro-BDS against Israel um, but for instance, I want to talk about vice, for instance. Um, and I think that Israel should consider them ter terrorists and should they ever try to step into Israel, they should be arrested. Because vice was not only spreading pro Hamas uh, propaganda, they actually went into a terror tunnel that uh, goes underneath Israel, endangering Israelis and their children and uh, use that illegal terror tunnel into Israel in their footage. So they are actually terrorists. They used something that you, is used to infiltrate Israel and create arm to Israelis. So Vice from the HBO group is promoting terrorism and their journalists can be ter considered terrorists because they have illegally entered a tunnel that goes into Israeli soil and takes and they didn't denounce their crimes they support these criminals it is awful they are basically you know it's like laundering you know, like you, laund you make laundering of money, they're basically cleaning their the image of terrorists and seem make them seem relatable and friendly and people care about them. But who cares about Jews? Who cares about Israel, where Jews have been expelled for so, from so many countries and are not safe to practice their faith? They're not safe anywhere. You saw what ha happened in France to that lady. You, sa you see the increased anti-Semitism, not only from the right, but mainly from the left. And uh, you have all these lies being spread about Israel. I'm sorry, but uh, it, it, it's, uh, it's upsetting. It's upsetting. <sighs> you see... Uh, you know, it's, it's, so, it's so bad that they are vilifying IDF and if IDF wanted to take out Palestinians and hurt them, they would. They would. They're one of the best armies in the world and if they wanted to kill people, they would. They don't. They just want to protect Israel. And, uh, gosh, this is so... Oh gosh, this is so bad. You have Palestinians sending children in front of uh, the soldiers, teasing them so that they shoot their children and they don't care about their children's lives. All they care is about filming um, IDF supposedly committing atrocities to children because that's their propaganda. And, uh, that's what they do. And you have the poor 
soldiers with a lot of fiber they have to have a lot of fiber to be there being teased all the time by children crazy women and stand there not doing anything just looking and of course sometimes then then things get too um, heated and they have have to do something they can't just stand there while people are kicking kicking them and uh, yeah they film things and they do their best to to give a negative image of idf you go into any other country in the world and kick a soldier and try and see what happens only in israel and the idf can you kick a soldier and not get arrested or uh somehow um you know so idf is probably the most patient army in the world try to go to england and kick one of their soldiers you simply can't you simply can't uh, so it's really frustrating to see this uh, complete uh, brainwashing of Europeans and Americans and whatnot uh, into hating, hating IDF. Uh, and it, it's um, funny that they spread lies. For instance, the Tamimi kids, they said that the kid had been shot by one of those rubber bullets or whatever and had his brain uh, damaged and had to have surgery. And it turns out the kid had fallen off his bike and he uh, lied, which was obvious and I suspected it from the beginning because they staged things. They killed their, their own, they hurt their own to uh, frame IDF. And there's the thing, if you ever see someone claiming that IDF has harmed or killed a loved one, it's a lie. It's a complete lie because they have their cameras all day long on IDF trying to capture some cruelty against Palestinians so that they can give a negative image of IDF. So if something happens, if they tell you that IDF shot someone or killed someone, it's most likely a lie because trust me, if it happened, they'd have the images to prove it and show the world just to denigrate IDF the, the best way they could. You have on the internet, and uh, I think you should research Pally Wood they have uh, staged events, for instance, people that they claim to be dead and pretend that they're dead and then they appear um, a few frames later alive and well, or people that pretend to be injured. There's a lot of things that are not right with all the um, pro-Palestinian propaganda and uh, you have to be really careful with what you listen to and what you see and um, so yeah now on to the Pope and this is the most serious thing because not only is the Pope support, supporting Palestinians um, he is also going against the Israel claim to Jerusalem now knowing the Pope and knowing that he represents the Catholic Church and of course, Catholics don't actually know the scriptures, otherwise they wouldn't be Catholics, but uh, that's besides the point. Um, that's beside the point. You have the Pope who allegedly studies the Bible and should know the Bible uh, standing um, for Palestinians in regards to Jerusalem and opposing the, emb the, the embassy move to Jerusalem, which is Yet again, another proof of the institutional anti-Semitism in the church. You have uh, no, um, you know, it's, it's, it's disgusting. And actually, this is the worst pope in the history of the Catholic Church. 
not only he's promoting abortion, gay things, it's like, okay, outside religious world, it is understandable, but he, if he is uh, following a religion properly, and you see, again, in the Old Testament, I'm not going to talk about the New Testament because I, I don't care about it. God condemns uh, abortion. God condemns certain things that he promotes. Um, so this pope doesn't even represent Catholics properly. Um, but he's uh, embodying the institutional anti-Semitism that is latent in the church. And even though he spoke against anti-Semitism, a lot of things he says and does uh, contradict his words uh, that he said, I think a couple of months ago, I think a couple of months ago, um, anyway, I think that um, instead of focusing on things he doesn't understand, he should go into the Catholic Church church and do some reformation in regards to some doctrines that are still being spread in church today. There are there's still a lot of anti-Semitic notions that are being taught in church and to children. Um, again, not that he cares. He has adopted anti-Semitic positions before and uh, I don't know. It's just frustrating and <laughs> Oh gosh, it's, um, I'm laughing because he, he's, I can't believe that people still follow the Pope um, after all the nonsense, all, all the nonsense that Catholics spread. Anyway, that's it for today and I'm sorry I'm all over the place. I ended up not really talking about everything I wanted to, but uh, I think that I'm going to start repeating myself, so I'm going to end this for now, and bye, have a great evening, and I'll talk to you in the next video. If you have any subjects you'd like me to address, or things that you didn't understand, or, you know, if you don't believe in the same things, just comment and tell me I'd like to engage, and, uh, I'm open to discussion. Anyway, bye, have a great evening, and until next video, bye.